Okay, so we're going to work on drawing 6-2 now. Let me go back to drawing 6-2. This one here, similar to 6-1, um, they give us the top view and the right side view. We need to figure out what the front view looks like. Here is the item itself, the three-dimensional item that we're going to be creating. Um, and it says, draw the top view and the right side views of the rod support shown in figure 6-42. Complete the front view. We don't know what it looks like yet, but you can tell by this, it's going to look like the letter U. The overall size is two inches square, meaning, again, the height and the width is two inches by 3.5 inches long. So the length of this is 3.5. The bottom and the ends are 0.5 thick. So thickness of the material is 0.5. The holes are one inch square. So one inch here and one inch here. And they are centered on the upper portion of this wall. So the, the distance above the window and below the window here is even, same as on side to side. Um, allow one inch between views, okay. We just have to remember two inches square by 3.5 long. So let's create a new, a new document. This is drawing 6-2, which is figure 6-42. I'm going to use the front view again. Turn towards the front view. I'm going to create a sketch of what the front view shape and size is. That sketch is gonna be a rectangle starting at the origin. And the dimensions are, the length is 3.5 and the height is two. Okay. Fit for the sketch and highlight the rectangle And we're going to extrude, and the depth of the extrusion is two inches. Two inches, check mark. Use my right mouse key to spin around, and you'll see there's our box. Now we've got two ways that we can create the, um, the slot. This thing is going to look like the letter U when we're done, like a rectangular letter U. So I can either create a rectangle here and cut it all the way through, or I can go to the top view, create a rectangle here in the middle and push it down. Either way is fine. I think it makes more sense to do it from the front view, but I, it's up to you. So I'm gonna go to the front view and I am going to create a sketch right on this view here. So I'm going to go sketch the rectangle and the rectangle starts on the top, comes over like this. I got to leave a gap here, gap here, and gap here. It said that the material is 0.5 thick all the way around. So when I dimension this from here to here, 0.5. And from here to here is 0.5. And from here to here is 0.5. So I've got 0.5 thickness all the way around the outside. All right, the sketch is done. So check mark. I'm going to highlight inside this rectangle here. And we are going to remove, we'll do an extrusion of remove, and instead of it being blind, we're going to go through all. Check mark. Good. So, so far it's looking like this. Now we just have to cut these windows in it. It says the windows are one inch square and they're centered on this top portion. Okay. So it's not centered down all the way to the bottom. But remember, if we go up 0.5, that's how thick this is. So instead of this being 
two inches, it's going to be centered on the top 1.5. All right, so let's let's turn this sideways. I want to go to the right side over here. And I'm going to make a sketch of a rectangle right here. And let's give the rectangle some dimensions. I know that the size of it here is one. And I know the size of here is one. And it said that it's centered on the in the middle of this thing. So if the whole thing is two inches wide and the window is one inch wide, two minus one is one. So I have to put half of one here and half of one here. So that's a half an inch. So I'm gonna go from the side to this edge, 0.5. And I don't even need to do this one over here because 0.5 and then one, Whatever's left over has got to be 0.5. So now I'm going to go from the top to the top edge of this. This is actually only 0.25. 0.25 because there's 0.25 down here. And then you get to the 0.5 thickness of this. Okay, good. So that's it for my sketch. Check mark. I'm going to highlight the window and say I want to remove. And I'm going through all and watch. I can do both windows at the same time. If I go through all, cuts it through both walls. There's the object. Go to the plus sign. Create drawing. Okay. I'm going to place the art. Let make sure it says front view here. We're going to create the front view. Top view. Click on the front view again and create the right side view. Click on the front view again and create the isometric view. Um, hit escape. Let me move, move this so that it's not touching the edges. Good. Now we have to turn on all the hidden lines. So right mouse click, show hidden lines. Right mouse click, show hidden lines. Right mouse click, show hidden lines. There's our object. You know how to do the title block by now. You can just double click and start adding your information into the title block. All right. So that is the finished product for drawing 6-2.